Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to morph your object into UV layout. Ok, so let's move into Houdini. So first of all, over here I am going to create one geometric container. I just go inside that container and over here I just call one test geometry that is pig head. Ok, so it's already unwrapped and if you want to check the layout UV layout of that particular object you just click spacebar 5 to see the layout of that particular object UV layout ok so now what I need to do is that first of all I just apply one transform over here and move my object little bit up ok over here now see basically what happened that uh, whenever you deal with that UV if you click over here in info panel so my UV lies on vertices ok so I am going to apply some attribute warp that is specifically on point so for that purpose I need to transfer that UV attribute from vertices to points ok so over here I just apply one attribute promote and over here my original class is vertices that is uv so uv to points but if you see over here by pressing space by 5 you will get something like that okay and that is little awkward so now see what you need to do is that first of all i am going to create one split uv seam so basically it split your geometry according to UV seams. So see for example over here if you click like that and see over here they provide also that if you want to promote your UV to the point so you just need to click over here. Now the base part is that see what it actually did is that for example over here I just apply one exploded view and now you can see over here it just split your object according to the seams of that UV ok so that's how you can just uh, segregate all those stuff as well as if you press spacebar 5 you will get the same layout but now your attribute of UV lies on points ok so I just remove that particular stuff over here now to morph that particular stuff from your 3D object to some 2D plane or UV layout for that purpose I just create one attribute VOP ok I just go inside that and over here I have this UV information ok so first of all because uh, I need that UV should be lie between that uh, minus 1 to 1 range in uh, X and Z so for that purpose over here I have this UV information so I just drag it over here I just press fit range and over here uh, 0 to 1 to set minus 1 to 1 minus 1 to 1 and minus 1 to 1 ok then over here because I want to set this particular information in my XZ plane ok and uh, that is basically I need that 2D information over here so for that purpose over here I just apply vector to float ok now over here I just apply one multiply by constant I just drag my this value over here multiply with minus 1 now again float to vector and over here what I need to do is that over here I need to set this particular stuff my y to z this should be in x 
and I just set Z to Y. Okay. So now if you just put that particular information into your position, you will get something like this over here. Okay. So now I just need to apply one more stuff over here that is multiply by constant. And over here I just multiply it by 2. So it will get little bit over here like this. Okay, and even if you want to put some uh, value like uh, if you want to create one constant, I just put value 0 and I just put it and y over here. Okay, so I will get that particular stuff in my y. Now, uh, what I need is that I need to move that particular stuff over here. So for that purpose, I just create one mix. Okay, and I put my original position as input 1 this as input 2 and the blend should be go into position okay now what i need to do is that see over here if you just animate that particular stuff you will get something like this okay so i just uh, middle mouse click over here and promote parameter okay so now i just go outside of this warp network and over here I just select this particular stuff and over here I get at interpolation bias and if you animate that particular stuff you will get these things like this okay so you just need to play animate like this Okay, now you can change any geometry like over here. I have one head. I just put it like here. And now, see. So that's how you just move your object into UV layout. Okay, so hope you like this tutorial. See you soon with another tutorial. Thank you.